My name is Benjamin Pappas. I'm a sophomore in high school. I have a disease called chronic recurrent multifocal osteomyelitis, which is like two more syllables than supercalifragilistic expialidocious. I worked that out just so that I can like, all right, I'm better than Mary Poppins. Like I can say this disease. Ever since I was born, pretty much like once I started to move, my parents kind of figured something might have been like a little bit off with me because they never had to baby proof the house because I didn't crawl around at all. Can you jump for me? Can you jump? Then as I started to walk, I was walking with like a limp. And whenever I would run, I would run with like stick legs. I would always complain about really intense pain in my legs. And then we came to Duke and they were like, we don't know what you have, but we're not gonna give up until we find out. They worked for like two years, and then that's when I got my diagnosis. We call it CRMO for short. I like school. My favorite subjects are math and science. The doctors and nurses and all of the care that I've received there has kind of shaped me, kind of piqued my curiosity, so I'm gonna go to college. I'm thinking like engineering, but I also am really interested in like conservation and like the environment. I'm a boy scout, so I'm really into like outdoorsy stuff. And so I feel like combining that would be really fun. And definitely doing dance marathons there, because I really like those. Dance marathon is really fun. The college students will put together like this huge dance party that'll last like anywhere from like four hours to like we've had one that lasted like 24 hours. It's all about the miracle children. So if you go, it's kind of like all about you, which is fun. That's a perk to it. And then at the end, you see how much you've raised and it's like, wow, as I was playing around, we were also raising money, which is just really fun. Some days I still do have some pain, like sometimes it will flare up, but then I just focus on like the people who are like supporting you, like all of the people at my hospital at Duke and my family. In fact, my sister is four years older than me, but even like through all of my treatments, we still stayed just as close. We love doing a lot of stuff together. We have this kind of like weird hobby that like if we see that like a family member needs something like a mood booster, we'll take our pet chickens and we'll make music videos for them. It's a lot easier to work through it knowing that I do have my family and like a lot of doctors working to help me. You should always like support your local children's hospital because it impacts so many people. You're always connected to some child who gets treated at a hospital. And so even if you don't know someone right now, chances are someone's gonna like need that care. Someone's gonna need those doctors and nurses to help them. And so by supporting them, you're supporting the future, you're supporting your community, and you could be even like supporting yourself or one of your relatives. So it's super important to raise money for those hospitals. When we change kids' health, we change the future for all of us.